everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevTactic and the Ionic Academy. In this video, I will show you how you can easily create a responsive image gallery uh, on two different ways. So one will be uh, a general gallery like you might know it from uh, images apps inside your phone. And the second option will be a more Pinterest inspired layout. So let's get started. I've created a blank new Ionic app. And what I also did is I copied in some images to an image folder inside assets. So just pick some images. I took them from stock snap, um, but of course you can take your own or whatever you like. So let's get started. Um, first of all, let me add one uh, simple segment switch. So we can later on easily switch between our two uh, layout types. So gallery type, um, I think we don't even need a color right here. And then we need two buttons. So ion segment button. The segment control is really handy to switch between content on a page. So one button for regular and one for Pinterest. Okay, um, close button, close segment, and we're good. Um, yes, now we can already see our switch. Um, also, we should add it to, oh, of course not, but gallery type. And we set it to regular in the beginning. So the first one will be automatically selected. Okay, now the fun actually begins. So first of all, we add an ng switch for the gallery type. So inside here will be the two different ways now. The first one is based on the Ionic grid system. So we wrap it inside ion grid and we have to add ng switch case and this will be displayed once the regular action is active. Inside the grid we start with an ion row and it will be just one row covering all of this. So we will have multiple columns inside this one row and they will simply wrap to the next line if they don't fit in the current row um, so we don't have to do any math for calculating rows or anything like this then we go ahead and create an ng4 um, let image of in my case uh, I actually thought you could create an array of numbers with a dot syntax in here like one dot 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 11 but I wasn't able to uh, find out how this works. Perhaps you know this. Um, also, we add the image container right here. Um, an additional class. And now uh, we could add all images um, on their own to the ion call, but I will put it uh, inside this div. And what we use now to uh, make the gallery look a bit better is setting the background image of each of these diff elements. So by doing this, we make sure that all of our gallery blocks uh, look the same size. Um, so inside here, we put the URL to our image. So it's an assets image. Um, and then it should be at image or variable um dot jpeg in this case okay close the brackets close the diff and let's see how this looks uh, actually it doesn't look like anything by now let it reload um, where's my image come on or perhaps we need to go to our CSS first of all and implement the image container class. Because we're setting it as a background image, uh, we need to set um, background size to cover. So it covers the full 
uh, size and also perhaps set a min height of whatever fits your images best and now we still don't have anything uh, what is wrong here is my switch not working come on it's ridiculous uh, okay perhaps we should also add our responsive breakpoint styling so let me write it and then we can talk about this for a second all right so for some reason I had to restart my ionic lab command and now I can copy this in a somehow I have a deja vu like we had this issue before but never mind so now we can also switch between our cases if we add the ng switch case again which was regular and then hopefully we can continue okay now so here we got our gallery and we said that for the smaller screens we want each column to take six uh, units so a row has 12 units which means on the smaller screens we can present two columns now for medium screens we set the column size to four which means on medium screens we can actually have three images next to each other and for the biggest size we set it to three so three times four is twelve so in that case on the bigger screens we could even have four images next to each other um, as you can see by using the uh, background image we can um, fill it and we see um, well not the complete image we could do this with some more css to stretch it or well not stretch it but cover everything and just uh, zoom into the middle but I think this effect is already pretty good. And this is a regular gallery you might see in your Photos app, um, which you could use for displaying images to your user um, or displaying whatever you like. And it's really responsive. So it works for tablets, for bigger sizes, as well as for um, small devices. Um, with the current Ionic Lab, you can open the full screen right here which brings us to this or simply remove ionic lab from the url but this is now the first type of uh, responsive gallery let's go to the second one and the second one um, is from the code here uh, from the code a bit different because um, we want a pinterest style layout so you might know on Pinterest the images have different sizes or the pins and they flow next to each other so it looks really nice and I was not able to do this um, with the ion grid I don't know why um, but I think it depends on how it is thought of uh, how the flex box below it works and all of this so we have to create our own little Pinterest inspired uh, styling here so uh, again ng switch case but in this case we use pinterest and for pinterest we wrap everything in images we will create the css class in a second and then we got uh, diff with one image we can again use our for loop here and now we simply put in an image to assets image image dot jpeg and that's it so by now it will look well not really like a pinterest gallery not responsive at all so let's change this also if we like to we could now set this to pinterest as we are debugging the pinterest layout so we got the image container and what we now need is a styling for our images and here we use um, a column count so if we specify a column count of two we see that we automatically get this pinterest style layout um, if we want to we can add some more 
uh, margin to all the images so they look a bit nicer but there's one thing missing so now we're not using the responsive grid so um, looking at these images it doesn't look that good on all screens perhaps on your phone but what you can do now is use simple media queries and we use uh, the min width so in the beginning for a min width of zero we want our images to use two columns just as we did with the breakpoints for the column uh, we use now two more media queries um, that was the wrong key so the first one perhaps starting at 420 and the bigger devices perhaps start here and now we got again a flexible column layout based on the uh, width of our device uh, is this right i think so so on small devices we got two columns as we get bigger um, we got three and at some point our layout changes to use four columns for the images and with this of course you could put in some cards or different elements just like the pinterest pins uh, you could change your breakpoints i think the first is somehow a bit small i don't know why um, should be yeah perhaps more like this but this is uh, yeah okay i'm on an imac screen so my breakpoints <laughs> happen very quickly here um, but you can see that we still now got our responsive grid and it looks like a Pinterest so um, first approach is with the ion grid um, and the rows and the columns with different breakpoints and using the background image for the images and the Pinterest approach works completely with custom divs um, the flexbox and the column count and media queries so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, I hope you can build a cool UI for your next image gallery with this approach and if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome ionic videos and also check out the ionic academy.com if you're interested in in-depth ionic training uh, a membership with courses projects and a great community so I will see you in the next video. Have a great day and take care.